Welcome everyone to the next Gran Turismo Let's Play. Today, we're starting probably my favorite game in the series, and this is going to be another challenge run, which I'm probably going to hate by the end of this. This is probably going to suck. <laughs> but we're going to be starting our Gran Turismo 3 prize car only run. Gran Turismo 3 is arguably my favorite game in the series. This is the one that started it all for me when I was about four years old. Um, I was able to comprehend things finally, and... My dad had a copy of Gran Turismo 3 on the shelf at home. My dad is far from a sim racing fan. He's always been more of an open world fan. He loved Need for Speed Underground 2. He loved uh, Midnight Club 3. Games like that. Uh, when Midnight Club Los Angeles came out, he played that like crazy. But for me, I gravitated towards Gran Turismo 3. I love sim racing. Always have. Always will. So this game it means a lot to me. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my T300 RS, my Thrustmaster, plugged in. I've calibrated it in a certain amount of way so that I can utilize it for this playthrough. And uh, yeah, I have to use two controllers because the way PSSX2 works with wheels in this game, you have to use the GT Force um, version of the wheel, I guess, instead of using the Driving Force Pro or Driving GT Pro, or whatever, for Gran Turismo 4. Now, that does leave some difficulties where I have to use two controllers to go through all the menus because the GT Force doesn't have a D-pad, even though my real wheel does. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just jump straight into the first license test and go from there. Alright, so one thing I am going to do here is I'm going to change the transmission options. Because when I was... I've been trying to get this right here, and I've been struggling. <laughs> um, so we are going to leave those assists on for now. Just because I want to get a feel for the game first. Alright, we're in the Beetle. Which has always been my kind of my go-to starter car. I thought that was my change view. What the heck? There we go. Get a good look of the car, but I have to play a bumper view of this game. Alright, come on. Speed up, please. This thing is so slow. These old 2-liter 8-valve engines are far from slow. Or far from fast. Ah, oh, so close. That's unfortunate. Alright, that's fine. Let me just put my initial in. Come on, car. <laughs> this is by far going to be the worst challenge so far of the entire run. It's going to be getting all golds on the B license to get this playthrough started. Um, thankfully, this is the NTSC version of the game and not like my GT Concept or GT4 Prologue uh, copies that are both uh, in other languages. Oh! Oh, that sucks! Seriously? Ah! Oh, we were right there! Man, I braked at the absolute last second! The funny thing is, like, they were like, Oh, you can't do detailed in 2 review on Gran Turismo 3. Then how come, if you look inside, the seats are modeled? And you can't even see them all that well! I gotta figure out how to outbreak myself, apparently. Ugh! How is it worse? How is that worse? Ugh, this sucks. I figured this would be where I would get stumped. Yeah, now for some reason we're actually ahead of the coast. Which is fine, I don't need much. <laughs> uh. Crying out loud, I was two thousandths off my personal best. Ugh. Ugh. 
Why is it this one I'm struggling to go all golds on? I would I I tested this wheel out on this uh, last week, and I was able to get gold on my first try on the Fiat Coupe Turbo Plus test. Uh, so I don't know what in the world I'm doing wrong here. Oh uh, man, so do I need to stop earlier? Yes, sir. We got it that time. Heck yeah. First try. First try. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Which is probably be just as brutal, honestly. It's the Viper. Uh, so this is the same one. It's just we got a faster car. I'm not worried about the rest of these. It's these two right here because these are going to be difficult for me regardless. For some reason, I struck at a... Let's actually watch the demo. Should be cool if it had um, the analytics on. You know, when I was younger, I thought that's actually how Viper sounded. So, in my younger self, when I'd be making car noises while playing with my toy cars, this would be the sound I'd be trying to emulate. That's just passing seven. So about 900 meters is when he's stopping. Let's give it a try. Short shifted probably. So I'm gonna go for a bit of a late break here. That was that wasn't too bad. That wasn't a too bad first attempt. Let's see if I can watch the demo again, but change like the camera view or something. Get a good view of his actual like stopping point. Let's see the others. I'm not worried about. It's just these two that have me. Um, Perplexed. Oh yeah, he stopped about 900. Oh, there's me. There's my ghost going past. It's your second year start. Not a not not a good idea. Oh, actually, we just completely blew away from the ghost right at the beginning from starting in second gear. Probably could use reverse shifting for this as well, but. I don't know how that really translates on the wheel, so I'm just going to play like an old person. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. This is so weird having to use two controllers to play this, really. <laughs> to navigate menus, at least. Once I'm in the game, it's fine. All right, this one is the one I gold at my first attempt with the wheel. So now we're going to actually get to feel the force feedback adjustment I did. So how I got this functioning with this is obviously in PCSX2, I had to set it to the GT force. But then on my Thrustmaster driver, I went in and changed the max rotation at 360 degrees. And then I did a manual uh, center spring adjustment, the, the, the centering force. Um, and I set it to 70% instead of 50 because I noticed it was kind of light when I tested it earlier this week, or this last week. So same strategy, second gear start. Alright, let's see how she does. I always liked this car. It's where my love for five cylinders truly began. I don't have a good feeling about this one. Oh! <laughs> I thought that was shoddy. <laughs> I thought that was a bad run. But we still got it. <laughs> okay. Well, shoot. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, Alright, so now we got the S2000 variant of the test. Um... We'll see how this one goes, because uh, obviously I, I did not expect that to be so easy. See, second you're starting the S2000. 
Man, those rabs dropped way low. Now, I have a friend who has one of these in real life, and I've actually partially driven it. I wouldn't say I like drove it, drove it, because I didn't drive it on the street. But in a parking lot, it's a fun car. Hmm. Now, this isn't going to be gold first try, but won't be too bad. Ah, that was not a good run. Alright, that's fine. We'll try again. We'll try a first gear start, see what it does. Okay, so we are ahead of the ghost here. We we gotta get quite a bit of time knocked off, about a full second. So we gotta be we gotta figure out how to be really fast through here. Nah, this isn't going to be it either. That was rough. Still have the refs too high on the launch there. I'm trying to do whatever I can to find that 19,000th out of this time. Come on, this is it right here if I can just stay ahead. This is it right here if I can just stay ahead. Yes, let's go. Oh, that was tough. I hated that. I hated that a lot. <laughs> I really hated that one. That was brutal. Okay. Just got a couple more. We're in a Civic. I'm pretty fast in front wheel drive, so let's just let's just hope. I guess it's because the most of my high speed driving experience in real life has been in a front wheel drive car. Ah <laughs> oh, come on. See this little Civic can do. I don't trust it. That's gonna be what's killing me this test. I don't trust this car at all. Hmm. Nope, definitely not. Oh man, this is this is this gonna be just as bad? I bet if I can just not fall off the racing line there towards that ladder half, I'll be fine. Oh, I thought I cut it in too sharp. Ooh, no wall tab. That's what I needed right there. This may be it. Yes, sir. Let's go. Much easier than the S2000 test. That was much better. <laughs> Phew. Okay. Ah, crap. We're back in a real drive car. This is about to suck, isn't it? This is about to suck. Uh, Alright. Same concept. Let's go second gear start. I know these things are about as much torque as a blender, but let's see. It's 
to I don't trust these cars so it's like I have a really hard time and this is sad because this is gonna be the car that I get I yep, I figured that's about to happen I, I saw myself going wide I was like I'm about to go way off so I'm gonna do a first gear start probably my first pass but don't get it on the first try here this car does not spin very much it does not need a second gear start I'm scared to go full pedal to the floor on this car. I'm, dang it. I was trying to correct the oversteer. And the margins for the bronze, silver, and gold in this game are a lot tighter than in GT7. GT7 is a lot more forgiving. Definitely not gonna be gold. Ah oh, man, I didn't even make it for the cut for silver. This is it right here. This is it right here. Let's go. Finally. Oh, that was rough. I think that was harder than the S2000 test. Man, that was brutal. Alright, we only got two more. Uh, man, please tell me we got like some cars I can drive here. Um, and the, the skyline might not be too bad. I know that test is really difficult, but maybe it won't be too bad. Alright. I got the uh, MR2 Spider, the MRS, same thing to me. Some 1ZZ action here. Let's go. Let's see what this little twitchy boy can do. I know how these things are. They kick the tail out on you for barely breathing in the wrong direction, so. Hmm. Okay, not a terrible first run. bump that wall, that would have been it.
This is it right here. Yes, finally. That just leaves one more test. All right, let's get this done. The R32 GTR V spec. Now that's gonna be really good in all-wheel drive machinery. I have no clue how this is gonna go. This is a notoriously difficult test. See, stuff like that's gonna be what ruins this for me. Yep. That was a pretty good. That was pretty solid too. Like, I had really high hopes for that. I just absolutely went way too fast to that corner there. See, I, I hit that wall, and it throws me off my groove. Foot down, let's go. Oh, 46 thousands. Come on, dude. I think this is it right here. Come on, car. Oh my gosh, that was close. That took way too long. Like, I've been filming for over an hour now, and the majority of that were this test. But, we finally got it. That was tough. That was absolutely brutal. And there we go, we got our starter car. We've got our NB Miata. That was absolutely brutal. And I do not recommend anyone do this. <laughs> they somehow just know how to blow these tests out of the water. Let's go to our garage and uh, check out our car. It's an LS trim. 
160 horsepower. This is a 1.8 liter. Let's go ahead and jump in. Go ahead and do like the obvious oil change and stuff. Next video, we're going to get into actually racing the car. So I'm excited for that. We're going to see what she can do. Um, but yeah. Oops. All right, guys. I think I'm going to wrap this up here. Thank you all so much for watching. And uh, I will see you guys later. Take care.